registration identification, Carlos Oral Pisa. Carlos? Let's bow our heads. First of all, we're very thankful that we are here. We're able to become better leaders, better communicators. And I ask that all the speakers that are competing today, may you come up with a plan to better your life, your careers, your community, your relationships at home. May you strategize, be able to take what you've learned here and apply it to different courses of your life. Be a resource to people that really don't have a voice. Be a resource to those that need to learn to speak and be able to communicate. Be there, take, up, take roles in the family, the community, so you can teach others how to use the voice for the better, for good. Use what you've learned and apply it to your plan because people do not remember you for what you say you're gonna do. They will actually remember you for what you actually do. So be that leader that you know you are. Be that person you've always wanted to be. And as long as you take that step into that journey, you will accomplish. Thank you so much for coming here into the Toastmaster world. And we ask that we may learn and teach others. Thank you. what else I'd like to wear. That's for the humorous speech contest. <laughs> you know, it, it's been said that you don't want to follow babies, grandparents, and now ethical tea, but I'll do the best that I can. Well, I'd like to take uh, my opportunity here to welcome everyone and thank you for joining us for our District 30 North Division Table Topics and International Speech Contest. So one more time, are you ready? Woo! Now, without question, we're going to hear some of the best speakers that the North Division has to offer. Now, I know this to be true because I speak from experience. Uh, I competed at area, and I have the battle scars to prove it. These guys and gals are good. Trust me. So let's get going. First, you knew this was coming. If you have a cell phone or a pager, if you don't know what one looks like, Please, please, let's be courteous and turn this off or on silent. Thank you very much. Also, we want you to know who the contestants are here this evening. 
If you do, did not have a chance to get an agenda, please raise your hand. We will make sure that our sergeant at arms will get one to you. Raise them high, please. Let's get these agendas to everybody. Contestants have worked very hard to be here tonight. We want you to know who they are. While we are getting those out to you, I would like to recognize the dignitaries in attendance this evening. If you could stand and be recognized when I say your name. District Governor, Joan Moore. <laughs> Lieutenant Governor of Education and Training, Michelle Cable. <laughs> Lieutenant Governor of Marketing, Donna Weston. The Northwest Division Governor, John Levy. The Central North Division Governor, Bill Morrill. Northeast Division Governor, Jane Sanchez. Area One Governor, Dean Glosson. I'm going to assume the C stands for Central, is that correct? We'll go with it. Central 22 Area Governor, Linda Morrill. <laughs> North 41 Area Governor, Grace Wu. <laughs> North 42 Area Governor, Stephanie Kurokawa. North 44, Area Governor Virginia Bosserman. North 45, Area Governor Bailey Bayona. We have a lot of Toastmasters, don't we? South 54, Area Governor Cassandra Griffin. South 56 Area Governor Lee Jones. <laughs> East 63rd Area Governor Jim Bowen. <laughs> East 64 Area Governor Tiffany Salinko. <laughs> West 74 Area Governor Carol Henry. done just about everything, Dick Storer. We also have Bob of Roman. Bob. And I, I will add for Dick, it says 1975 to 1977. Not sure what that stands for, if you could let me know. Well, uh, Board of Directors, TI Board of Directors. Great, TI Board of Directors. And for Bob, 1987 to 88, same thing? Yeah. District Governor, thank you. See, they like to keep me on my toes and leave out information, but we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> Last but not least, our District 30 Club Extension Chair, Jerry Evans. Jerry. We will have two contests here this evening, our Table Topics Contest and the International Speech Contest. The first contest will be Table Topics. When that has concluded, we will have a brief 10-minute break, and after the break, we will conduct the International Speech Contest. Contestants, timers, ballot counters, and sergeant-at-arms have all been briefed prior to the beginning of this contest. Everyone is aware of the Toastmaster International Rules that govern the contest. No one should enter or leave the room during the contestants' presentations. You may do so if time permits during the minute of silence between the presentations. Thank you. And with that said, 
Let the contest begin! At this time, I will give the speaking order for the Table Topics contestants. Contestant number one, Greg Sibley. Contestant number one, Greg Sibley. Contestant number two, John Mickevice. Contestant number two, John Mickevice. Contestant number three, Amelia Anderson. Contestant number three, Amelia Anderson. Contestant number four, Marguerite O'Connor. Contestant number four, Marguerite O'Connor. Contestant number five, Jim Fertransky. Contestant number five, Jim Fertransky. <coughs> Contestant number six, Michael McElwee. Contestant number six, Michael McElwee. If our Sergeant at Arms could please escort all the contestants but our first speaker outside of the room at this time. There's about three or four flights of stairs, so it'll be another <laughs> few seconds here. Now I know why they told me to bring my binoculars to get the signs from up there. <laughs> We are now ready to hear from our Table Topics contestants. There will be one minute of silence between each contestant. Timekeepers, when I advise you to do so, please signal me with the green light when one minute is up. After all contestants have spoken, the judges will be given all the time they need to complete their balance. We will now begin the Table Topics Should I go without the mic for the actual question? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go without the mic for the actual question. Okay. They are being moved to the parking lot, ladies and gentlemen. They are being moved to the parking lot. We will have 13 minutes between each speaker, ladies and gentlemen. 13 minutes. There is plenty of coffee and refreshments in the back. Should we promote the District 30 conference now to save, save a little time? Okay, so no one can hear me, is that correct? We're good. <laughs> okay, we're good. Again, we will now begin the Table Topics Contest. Contestant number one, Greg Sibley. What song or songs motivate you and why? What song or songs 
motivate you, and why? Greg Sibley. judges mark their balance. Contestant number two, John Mikavice. What song or songs motivate you and why? What songs or songs motivate you and why? John Mikavice. Brightest of all 
your successes, all your accomplishments. And then preparing for the interview, all the rehearsing you do and everything. And afterwards, getting some feedback. Dance, 10, looks three, and I'm still on unemployment. Interviewing for my own enjoyment. This isn't right. This isn't right. I'm just hoping that you're the one selected, that you can ultimately shine in the spotlight and be the one, the one that everyone wants to hire. Because you know you have a great qualities. You have the ability to connect with people. You have a whole career of accomplishments and you want to bring those forth and sell them to people. Yet another song that gets me very motivated is the theme from Rocky. Just the theme that no matter what you're up against, you can move and be motivated and overcome any obstacle. Because you can reinvent yourself. You can become strengthened. You can increase your intelligence. You can become who you need to be to get to where you need to go. So in conclusion, those are the songs I use to keep myself motivated, focused, and energized so I can move on to the next <coughs> stage of my career. Thank you. May we have one minute of silence while the judges mark their ballots. Contestant number three, Amelia Anderson. What song or songs motivate you and why? What song or songs motivate you and why? Amelia Anderson. One of the songs that really inspires me in the mornings is by Josh Groban. I think he has a lot of very inspirational songs. It makes me start each day feeling like I can accomplish something and really make a difference in what I'm doing. Of course, by the end of the day, I'm feeling more like that thrashing death metal, not so much like the uplifting, soaring bird, more like I'm a bit downtrodden. So I think it really depends on what it is that I'm being motivated to do. I'm an avid Pandora listener, and occasionally I will do a quick mix of all of my different styles of music. But I've stopped doing that very often because I <coughs> I had Frank Sinatra, followed by Marilyn Manson, followed by Daft Punk, and I just I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> so, um, there's a wide range of music that I like, and it really depends on what the purpose is, but I try to separate them out with a little bit of space in the middle. Thank you very much.
May we have one minute of silence while the judges mark their ballots. Contestant number four, Marguerite O'Connor. What song or songs motivate you and why? What song or songs motivate you and why? Marguerite O'Connor. music too for the appropriate times. Uh, so one gentleman had uh, one of uh, a dying Cubs fan's last request as his opening song and Go Cubs Go as a closing song. And for the Sox fan we had Paul Bears that wore a, a shirt, a t-shirt that showed their loyalty to the Sox. For myself, I generally listen to inspirational music and I also received a tape from my niece who lives in California with some holiday tunes. And so I really don't have just one genre that I listen to. If it's a stress-filled week or a busy day, I'll generally put something in that's very calming and relaxing, something that my sister in Santa Fe, New Mexico might have sent me. But overall, music is sort of a universal language. So it's something that really can take our communication to a different level or it can give us a time to not communicate and just enjoy. Mr. Table Topics Master. Then we have one minute of silence while the judges mark their ballots. Contestant number five, Jim Futransky. What song or songs motivate you and why? What song 
or songs motivate you and why? Jim for Transkey. Contestant number six, Michael McElwee. What song or songs motivate you and why? What song or songs motivate you and why? Michael McElwee. say the Star Spangled Banner, you could say any of a number of things, but I happen to have a small child, and having a small child, I find myself heavily motivated to sing those songs that Molly likes, that makes her smile, 
that makes her laugh. And I would sing just about anything to cause that to happen. It's included things like, Baby, you're a firework. Show the world what you're worth. I'm not proud. <laughs> I'm not proud. People have often thought that I should be off Broadway. Off. Off. <laughs> off Broadway. And lately, the song that seems to have inspired me the most. I just met you. This is crazy. But you're my mommy. I love you, baby. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs> Everyone could please remain silent while the judges take all the time they need to complete their ballots and have them collected by the ballot counters. Way to go, Table Topics contestants. And now, we will hear from our Lieutenant Governor of Education and Training, Michelle Cable, about all the exciting happenings that are going to happen at our upcoming District 30 conference. Michelle?
by trying to trip and fall down, for those of you who don't know. I'm Michelle Cable, the Lieutenant Governor of Marketing Education, and I'm going to tell you about a very special event. You're going to want to get your pen and paper out to write this down. It's probably already on your program. And you're going to want to circle it. In fact, it's so special. I'm going to tell you some key selling points before you write it down. Number one, it's in a special location. The location is nearby. It's exotic. <laughs> it has fabulous features. The hotel has a pool and a hot tub. <laughs>
take our 10 minute break. Number one, load up on the food and the goodies and the drink right now, if you would, during the intermission because we do not want to distract the judges during the contest. So we ask that you refrain from getting any refreshments during the contest, so get them now. And second announcement, we have a birthday person here today. And that is none other than our district governor, Ethel. Ethel, happy birthday. She's in the back. So real quick, on three, on three, happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy birthday! She'll never ask me to do this again. Ten minutes, we'll see you in ten minutes. Thank you. Time